what is going on you guys we are back for another not sure what to call this cooking video wife's already got the bow tie noodles going we're gonna use some ragu sauce we're doing an alfredo bake as the title would suggest we're gonna use some of that st louis style emos provel cheese mozzarella and uh some different styles of chicken we did like a slow cooker chicken and um just some chicken chunks that were like already pre-baked that we had and we're going to be mixing it all together once we get the Alfre like the alfredo noodles all done see there we're we're going to mix everything together in the pot my wife wanted to help with the cooking and stuff because i've been cooking so often We, uh, we we do a good split of cooking, or at least we have here lately. She used to do all the cooking, but I'm trying to do more. Putting in some salt and pepper. Time to put it in the pans. And if you notice, we sprayed the pans down with that canola oil just to make sure that the noodles on the bottom do not stick. Highly recommend that. That way, whenever you go to get it out, it's not a chore to get those noodles off the bottom for uh, serving food purposes as well as cleaning purposes. Gonna spread it out. Get it nice and level. finger in the way didn't realize that I'm gonna put on some of that Provel cheese yo what you know about that Provel this is a staple in St. Louis it goes on salads really well it goes on uh, pizza really really well that's the original uh, use for it um, people outside of the St. Louis area I think that it's not a great cheese but man it melts really well it's got a really uh one of a kind flavor and then if you mix it with mozzarella it's really fantastic because it gives it a nice creamy base and then like the mozzarella does kind of go over the top if you do it right and it, it's a really good combination And into the oven we go. Going to let them bake for a little while. Woo! Got done with a dove hunt a couple hours ago. Came home, hung out with the boy. Uh, had a quick dinner, showered, and been trying to finish up editing this video. Uh, if you're liking it so far, like, share, subscribe, comment, blah, 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 all that good stuff. And thank you guys so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so dove hunting videos going to be coming soon. And uh, I'm almost done with the turkey one. So that one will be next in line, I do believe. And then another cooking one. And then uh, I'm not sure where we'll go from there. Uh, doves will be mixed in with some other things because I've got plenty of other video I want to get out there too. I've got some Duck Dog uh, Princess Diary stuff I want to get out there. So plenty of video. I just got to try to get caught up, I guess. And uh, that's what I'm trying to use this time for now. And the, the funny thing is, is I'm making more content as I'm trying to get caught up. So when am I ever actually going to get caught up? But that's where we're at with things right now. And enjoy the rest of this. This rub right here is really good. I put it on pretty much anything because it's just a great overall seasoning. Uh, so I'm going to put this on this chicken in the woods. All we did was fry them up in a little bit of butter until they got that kind of brownish color to them. And they were really good. As you see, browned the cheese on top of the Alfredo bake. And the one on the right actually got a little less browning there. I didn't notice that till just now. Time to serve it up. Man, doesn't that look good? Nice and creamy and cheesy. Even sticking to the uh, spoon. 
I know that's not exactly an actual spoon. I think it's got another name for it, but I am still new to the kitchen, so to speak. Once my plate was done being made, I did add my chicken in the woods mushrooms too. As you can see here in just a second, I just go, whoa! Look at that, fantastic. How much it tastes and has like the consistency of chicken. These are really good. I like these mushrooms a lot.